Hey guys, Scott from Everyday Home Repairs. Got a quick little project today, and that is dealing with this deck that we refinished last year. Uh, we went through, put new deck boards on, fixed up some of the rotted wood, uh, but now it's it's 15 inches from the top of the, the deck boards, the deck surface, to the concrete here. Uh, so I just need to make a little box step to make that transition a little bit more natural, not such a big step, so stay tuned. All right, so depending on your project, what you're dealing with, you might there's a bunch of different options. So you could you can make a pressure treated box step like we're going to be doing today. Um, you could actually got some right here. You could purchase some uh, stringers from your local uh, big box store. Uh, this one has has two rises, right? So really, I only need one rise here. So if I put this one in place that's gonna put that top uh, step or top tread even with my surface here, my deck boards, which would be okay. You don't necessarily need it. Technically, this one could be used for uh, three steps, which that top surface would be your, your top step up. So um, you could go this, this route. I'm not specifically gonna go this route um, because the, the concrete here is a little bit uneven and we're eventually gonna kind of jack that up or, or remove it and re-pour it. Uh, so I want the box set because it's gonna be easy to put in. It's gonna be stable. And then if I need to remove it uh, quickly so we can do that project, it's, it's no, no issue. Uh, so it serves a purpose and it's easy to remove. You could do all sorts of other things. Uh, there are, you can get kind of the metal um, stringers, single step stringers, and then you just put in the tread boards on top of it. Um, you could even get, I think there's some of those like pre-made concrete steps. There's a bunch of different options out, out there, but I have some extra wood. Uh, so uh, pressure treated wood from uh, former projects. So I'm just gonna use that and make up a quick uh, box step here. Okay, so I took a little time and just did some basic dimensions and wrote them out here, which I can show you. So you got kind of the uh, top view here of just the framing and the dimensions. I'm gonna go 48 inches wide and that is gonna be uh, to the outside front and back uh, framing board. And this will be two by eights. I technically, if I had two by sixes, I would use those, but um, I had a bunch of two by eights in the garage, so I'm gonna use those and use that for the f overall framing. And then I'm gonna put uh, two center uh, pieces here for a little bit more stability of the top tread boards. And then each one of those is gonna be cut 13 inches, which will give me an overall width of 16 inches. So then when I put three of my tread boards on top of this, uh, which each one is five and a half inches wide, I should have a half inch overhang, and that's what I'm looking for. And then the overall height, again, is a little bit, um, it's a little messy, you probably can't see it there, a little bit more than I wanted. I actually want to go for more like seven and a half, but the total height is, is gonna be right around eight and a half inches. Again, being a box step, uh, for me, this one's, fairly temporary, uh, I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, but if you were uh, doing a project that you think is gonna be more permanent, you wanna do it right, this is gonna be on the upper end of what you would have for your, your local uh, codes in your area for the maximum height that, that each step should be. So this is what I'm gonna uh, go after. So I'm gonna jump out there and do some, a uh, few cuts. So I have all my wood laid out here and I'll start by cutting the front and the back, the 48 inch boards. And again, this is a two by eight. Uh, you can, if you have them uh, or going to get lumber, I'd do a two by six. So I'll cut both of those and those will be kind of the front and back. And then I'll move on to uh, getting those, those end pieces and center sections. So those are 13 inch. Uh, just by chance, that board was 26, exactly 26 long, so they both worked out. So I'll cut four of those using the pre-cut board as the template. And then I'll cut out here the actual uh, top of this step here from some, some old deck boards that I had, cutting those at 48 inches and using the previous one as a template. 
I'll work through those. All right, now I have all the boards cut. I'll kind of set them up here. Use three and a half inch deck screws. You can use a Phillips head or a square bit. Now on the ends here, I am gonna pre-drill the holes. And that's just so when I'm sinking in the three and a half inch deck screws, I didn't wanna split the wood. Uh, which is going to it's going to be much more prone to splitting there at the end when you're sinking in the the screws. So getting the end secured, kind of marking off here the the points, the 16 inches and 32 inches will be the center of those uh, inner two by eights to keep them evenly spaced. So it's basically going to be one every 16 inches with a total length of 48 inches. For the middle sections, I won't pre-drill them. I'm, I'm just putting in the three, three and a half inch screws. And I'll pre-drill this end here. I'm kind of starting to work everything, get it secured up. The back board is pretty warped. It's kind of twisted, so, uh, but I'll be able to work that in by kind of pulling it, uh, pulling the back board into the center sections with the, the screws and kind of work uh, from one end to the other. So getting everything secured up here and working through this end piece I got to kind of work with. So what I'm going to do is I'll secure the secure everything on that front side. And then now I'll jump to the back side and sink the screws, and that'll help to pull that backboard in so it's not as twisted when I'm trying to secure the end piece. But with a little pressure and pre drill, be able to, to sink in the screws and get everything lined up and take that twist out of the, the board. All right, so just finishing everything up here uh, before moving to the to these deck boards on the the top of the step. So these uh, are two inch, uh, just using two inch deck screws with a square uh, square head on them. Uh, again, laying down two uh, per per end piece or middle section board, and just drilling those in. Didn't, I did not pre-drill the side pieces. Um, if you want to be safe and want to make sure you don't split the, the deck boards, I would go ahead and pre-drill those. I had pretty good luck. I think one or two of them had a little bit of a split in it, but uh, not, not noticeable at all again. But if you want to be safe, just take a couple of extra minutes and pre-drill those holes at least on the end pieces. And that's it, uh, really easy. It took me about, I'd say an hour, hour and a half start to finish. Um, again, I use two by eights here for the framing. You could technically do this just with all two by sixes. So if you picked up four eight foot two by sixes, uh, you could use those for your top tread plates and then also all the framing uh, to make a 48 inch wide step such as this. And then your overall step height is gonna be a little bit more ideal. Here we're dealing with about eight and a half inches. So it's just a little bit higher probably than, than you want, but it'll, it'll work great for what we're doing. Uh, I'll, I will go ahead in the descriptions and list out any other options uh, that I know that are out there, just in case, um, uh, real common for you guys maybe to have some landscaping or, or grass or soil or something you gotta go to. So just setting that right, uh, wood, even pressure treated right on that surface. One, it's gonna be uneven, and two, it's gonna really rot over time. So there are other options out there for you. So I'll put some options in the description. I'll put a list of the tools uh, that I use. And if you like these type of videos, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button and we'll keep uh, bringing those to you. Again, my name is Scott with Everyday Home Repairs. Take care.